Hi Sagittarius, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the week of December 7th, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying this reading, please take the time to like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. Sagittarius, if you have not checked out your live video for the month of December, please do so. You will find it on the channel's playlist under monthly videos, and that's like an extended version of your weekly videos. Okay. Um, a lot of scattered energy is what I'm seeing around Sagittarius. You know, that need for contentment, that restlessness, the need for freedom. Um, you're very hopeful and very positive is what I want to say here. But you need to be open to delays, um, changes of plans, rethinking your options, kind of at a moment's notice. So be warned of that, okay? There's a small wish granted, um, and there may be someone that lets you down and someone in your circle that, you know, um, just kind of disappoints you or whatever. There's some decisions to be made there, as well as you're letting go of someone or something. Now, there is a warning towards the week's end that comes in real briefly on your temper. So let's take a look. We're looking at Sagittarius. This is your week of December 7th, 2020. Okay, Sagittarius. Out the gate, you guys start with the chariot. You know this is my favorite card. This overrides everything I just said. It says you get everything you want and desire. And the cool thing about it is... It's when you least expect it. And like I said, please be open to rethinking your options, delays, and changes in plans. Then we have the Ten of Swords. This is the energy you guys need to let go of. Remember I said you're letting go of someone or something? This is someone that's done you wrong. You need to let that energy go because if you don't, it is going to hold you back. Then we have the King of Swords energy, okay? This is someone that can be a little bit, I'm going to say a little bit of a sharp tongue, um, but someone that can give you some sound advice. This could also represent a Libra. Now, when I throw a Zodiac sign out there, it's going to resonate for some of you, but not for all of you. Moving forward, we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, this shows that there's some financial stress and that you're juggling a little bit, the Sagittarius, that's brief and passing. Don't put any stress into your finances. Then we have the Queen of Swords, okay? The Queen of Swords, this is also uh, someone that could get a little catty with you. Now, notice here, in my love life, we've got a couple here. i got a King and a Queen of Swords. Just wanted to throw that out there. And this is also representing a Virgo energy, okay? Uh, this is someone, like I said, that... I'm not going to say a know-it-all, but kind of a know-it-all that might get a little catty with you. There again, I don't see a confrontation. Uh, eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is money in addition to. New money coming into play for Sagittarius. This is something in addition to. Your regular pay um, could be the sale of an item, small win, something like that. Moving forward, you guys, that's what I'm talking about when I say wishes are granted. There is the star coming in with wish fulfillment. And again, this is reiterating any delays you encounter this current week are going to be in your favor. With that, we have the Emperor. This is someone coming in as an unexpected offer of help. That might be that person in the inner circle I was talking about. This is a take charge type of person that is ready to jump in and help you with any problems that you have. And then we have the Four of Swords. And that Four of Swords, just a reminder to get the rest that you need when you need it. With that scattered energy, I'm going to throw out a warning. I'll be warned against accidents, particularly close to home, for my Sagittarius. So, I mean, we're looking at your major arcanas here. I'm looking at the Chariot. You know, um, I'm looking at the Emperor. And I'm looking at the star. Good, good, good energy here. So let's jump over here and clarify what we have going on. This is for Sagittarius for the week of December 7th, 2020. 
All right, on the chariot, there's your happiness card. Total complete happiness. For some of you, this is the love arrows flying around as well. And I want to throw out there to you, um, there's only like two what I consider happy cards in the deck of 78. This is one of them. And that's falling on top of the chariot. Next is that Ten of Swords, that person you need to let go. This is probably someone in the love life, okay? What you want in a love life as far as commitment is still attainable. It's just not with that particular person. Let that energy go or it's going to hold you back. Then we have that King of Swords energy. Yep, there is the Emperor with it. This showed up twice. This is the person that's coming in that take charge Take control type of person coming in with some advice how to proceed and how to help you out. Okay. And like I said, that emperor showed up twice now in your reading. Two of coins. <laughs> there we go with that ten of swords energy. Guys, you need to let this go. Like I said, two of coins shows that the uh, financial struggles are soon to be brief and passing. But it's also you're dwelling. You're dwelling on this person from the past. Let it go. I'm here to tell you, Sagittarius, it's going to hold you back if you don't. Then we have that Virgo type energy. You know, the same way someone that might get a little catty with you. But that's okay. This is in a good way because there's the Wheel of Fortune with that. Wheel in your favor. Things are finally going to go to your favor. And we see that right beside that with that Eight of Pentacles of money in addition to with another money card of working and gaining. Raises, promotions, bonuses, Christmas bonuses, things like that. Yes, the Wheel is going to your favor. Okay. Then we have that star, which come in as wish fulfillment and delays. With that, we have Sagittarius and Sagittarius showing just how stubborn you can be. Okay, this is a temperance card. It's the cliche, Sagittarius. When you do the same thing, you get the same result. You are made aware of it. You are changing things up. You are getting better results. And the emperor that has appeared here twice. Okay, just what I said. It's someone coming in to help. Some of the unexpected offer. Um, this is a take charge type of person. Could be a Libra. And we have the four swords telling you to get the rest that you need when you need it. And there's a judgment card. Sagittarius, do not pass judgment on someone too quickly. If you do, you're going to be wrong. And it's very possible that you do just that because obviously you're having problems shaking off the energy of who has done you wrong. Overall, Sagittarius, this is going to be a good, a good week for you guys. You know, it's about wish fulfillment. It's about this emperor coming in to help you out. Okay? It is about um, love and love flying around and new love coming in and new money coming in. So things are going to go good. You just need to shake off that past energy. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out your monthly video, your daily video, as well as your weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.